192,000 is what I earn every month with my sources of income. With incomes ranging from as little as $1,000 to upwards of $200,000. In this video, I will be 100% transparent showing you each of my sources of income with bank statements, deposits, everything. I will explain how I earn money with them, how I did it, and how you can capitalize off of them as well as I did. I currently have five sources of income. The first one is that apartment right there on the fourth floor. So it generates me anywhere from about a thousand to a thousand two hundred dollars a month and it probably takes i'd say an hour out of my time in the whole entire month i just call the tenant on the first like hey is everything good is money good for the first everything good hang up the phone so it takes not much out of my time so i generate the money through cash flow so this is my first real estate property and i did a grant card loan style i put 20 percent down my monthly on it is about 1400 with interest and association and i rent it out to the tenant for 2400 dollars a month after net profit association fees and minor fixes if needed i'm left with about a thousand dollars a month which is not much but i pretty much got all the money that i made and I reinvested into this to just create passive income. My second source of income is back in the office and that is from YouTube AdSense. YouTube AdSense generates anywhere from $1,500 a month to about $2,000 a month. This takes probably about anywhere from three to four hours a month because if I upload four videos a month to record these videos for you guys, it probably takes about an hour out of my day. So how do I make the money from YouTube? Pretty much it's the ad, right? Before you watch this video, you either had to wait for the 15 second ad or you had to click skip the ad. So I get paid pennies for every single ad, but it adds up for every hundred or thousand views or something like that. So that is the main way how I make money through my YouTube, which is just simple AdSense. But these ads fund the editors and everybody behind the videos, you know, it just helps the team because obviously running the team to make these videos for you guys is a lot more expensive. It just helps. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And a brief summary of how this started, it was actually the most random thing. I was not supposed to be on YouTube. I would always post my results on Instagram and then people wanted to see longer versions of how I, how I did it. They wanted longer explanations, how I made the money that I made. And Instagram only let me do videos for about a minute. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a 15, 20 minute, 15, 20 minute video and just upload it on YouTube so people can watch the whole thing and they can learn a lot more. And the feedback on YouTube was crazy because it was a lot more content so people can consume. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep this YouTube thing going and then it's grown to what it is today, which is totally insane. That's why I'm so grateful for the community that has been built. My third source of income is my educational business, Swing Trading Lab, which I teach you guys my set and forget strategy. My educational business really does vary from 20,000 to about $30,000 a month because I don't have it available all the time. I've, I haven't had my course available for a little over three months. So if you were to kind of add it up through the whole entire year, I kind of came to that average. So I'd say anywhere from 20,000 to 30,000 if you were to spread it out through the whole entire year. To make this, it probably takes me anywhere from two to three hours every single day because every single morning I you know, send out the trades, what I'm looking at, I get into the Discord, I talk to the guys. And then on top of that, on the weekends, I break down every single trade that I get into to the whole entire community. So it can vary anywhere from two to three hours a day take Saturdays off and then on Sunday we are back at it. So the way the money is made with this business is I offer an educational service where I teach you how to trade just like me. So one time payment, you get lifetime access to my educational videos and lifetime access to my mentorship, meaning that every single week I am guiding you to the markets and the things that I'm going to be doing to the week ahead. And the way this started, it was intentional. Again, I just started posting my results on social media. I was just showing people what I did and then the demand was insane. People just couldn't believe that the sniper entries that I was getting, they wanted to learn how I did it. And then I was doing it for free. I had a free Telegram, I had free videos on YouTube, free Instagram, like everything free. And then I realized that I was doing so many things for free that a lot of people weren't respecting my time. So I'm like, you know what? I only want to work with serious people and instead of me just doing it out there every single day just forcing it i'm just gonna make all these recorded videos so you could just go see it one time and that's it so that's where i came up with swing trading lab where i teach you my set and forget strategy my fourth source of income is my small trading account so this is very interesting because it can make anywhere from fifteen thousand dollars to upwards of twenty thousand dollars in order for me to generate this it could take anywhere from an hour to two hours a day i just come into the markets either an hour during new york or an hour during london that's pretty much it i just wait for my trade setup to hit and that's it the way that i make this money is i essentially take my trading account and i risk a certain percentage of it and i take it on a high 
probability trade setup. So whenever I trade that has all of my confluences met and I consider it to have a great risk to reward, which is a minimum of a one to two, I then take the trade. And the way this came about this is where a lot of people want to know is how did you get the money to have those accounts on your small trading account? How do you get the account to make that? And then truthfully, in order for you to get the money is you have to be consistent. You have to stick to your trading plan. You have to grow your account. And honestly, I did some high risk trading at the beginning. My account grew and I managed to stay with it. A lot of traders, they can flip accounts, but then they don't know how to stay with it. So I grew my account over time by just trading, getting payouts and not blowing the money. I just kept accumulating the account to where now I can risk a certain percentage of it where it gives me my returns on, on my investment. Before I continue with my last and biggest source of income, I would like to share with you other sources of income that are not quite stable, especially because they're not businesses. They're just things that I just throw money at and I see what happens. And the main reason is because if I don't give something 100%, I don't expect anything out of it. So these are just things that I kind of dabble around with. The first one being affiliation with brokers. So what I do is I just tell you what broker I use and you basically sign up with the link below. And then if you sign up with the link below, I get paid per lot on the trade that you take. And with this, I can make anywhere from a thousand to 2000 a month. I've had highs of $3,000 a month. However, it's not stable because one, I think people like funding companies better and two, uh, if you don't sign up under my link below, then I don't get any compensation per lot or trade that you take. So this way is why I don't see a stable. Like the broker that I use is in the description below. And if you don't sign up with that link and you just go on to the broker that I use and you use it without using the link, I don't get benefits with it. So that's why I wouldn't consider this a source of income. But if you guys do want to know what broker I use, it's just in the description below. So the next one is venture capitalist. Basically what I do is I have friends that they have businesses or money they want to throw at. I'm like, you know what, bro, here's some money. I just need 50 15% back on the money that I give you. And as of right now, I've generated zero dollars from this. So all of the money that I've given to my friends hasn't gone well and I've gotten nothing back from it. And this is not stable because I don't think these guys, since it's not their money and they see me as their friend and like, yo, Alex just prints money all day trading. He can just give me $10,000 and it doesn't matter. They don't, they don't respect the money the same or they don't give it 100%. So that's why I don't consider this a source of income, not only because I've lost all of the money that I've given these guys, but because they don't take it serious. The next one would be cryptos. What I do here is I literally just buy a crypto, so I don't forget. This has made me anywhere from $20,000 to $60,000 a month. And however, I don't really consider it a source of income because I see it like as an investment, right? I, I can't depend on this a month and I, it's not a guaranteed because you guys are seeing the swings of cryptos. They have big highs and they have big lows. So I would just consider it something you could throw money at it. And then when you make money, you make money and you run with it. But don't consider it uh, a source of income every single day because if you just plan to hold crypto forever, you only make the money once you hit the withdrawal button. But I will soon be buying a lot of Bitcoin and a lot of Ethereum. So stay tuned to that. And the last one that I definitely don't consider a source of income is poker. So what I do with poker is I basically just use it as a form to network. I just play with the boys and thanks to poker, I've been put in rooms with some very, very, very big people. And the way that I make money off of this, which is not money, because every single time I go play with these guys, I lose, is the network that I get because your network is your network. So this is not a stable source of income because whenever I get a good hand, every single time I smile, I laugh, these guys catch on and I lose the money right away. And finally, my fifth and actually the biggest source of income is my big, big, big trading account. My big trading account generates me anywhere from $150,000 to upwards of $250,000 every single month. Generating this probably takes me about an extra minute a day than it already does because I take the exact same trades that I do on my small account, I just up the lot size on my big account. So it's the same time, all I do is just takes me a little bit more time to hop out from one account to go to the other one and take the trade. I don't like doing it automatic. I like taking the trades manually myself, especially when you're dealing with such big numbers. And basically the way how I accumulated this is by just showcasing my skill set and being consistent with it. There's so many people out there that one, don't be consistent with their trading, don't showcase it, and they just don't stick to their rules. I've been doing this for five years. You are destined to be good at something if you do it every single day for the next five years. That's where I am right now. That's why I was managed to get my big, big trading account that generates me anywhere from 150 to 200 a month. Building these five sources of income has taken me five years, 
where I had to go from Dunkin' Donuts to working overnight shifts, working at the fair, and so much more. If you wanna know the whole entire story on how I did it, just click this link up here where it's my whole entire story, how I went from Dunkin' to the position that I am in today. However, this journey was extremely dark and long because I didn't have a mentor to tell me what I had to do and what I didn't have to do. So there was many highs and many lows because nobody told me what was right my process was full of consistent fails and errors. However, all of those errors allowed me to get these sources of income. And the good news is that if you want to achieve the same things that I have, you don't have to go through the same struggles. If you would like to get anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a week as a beginner forex trader using a simple strategy, I have an invitation for you. Go to the link in the description below where there's a video where it explains. All you have to do is just click on it. There I explain how you can get anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a week using a simple forex strategy as a beginner. Just like the 500 plus success stories that I have. Don't believe me? Just click the link below. What I have prepared for you is going to make sense. If not, you can just come to your own conclusions and I appreciate Appreciate you watching the video all the way to the end. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.